Now, beyond a Gleason score, we also get uh, a disease burden, i.e. what's the extent of the disease? I, how much? How much are we seeing? And there are different ways that we determine if someone's got more cancer or less cancer. Number one, there are more positive cores. Now, every urologist will have a slightly different template. They will take a slightly different number of cores when they're assessing a particular area. But crudely speaking, as I'm sure you can understand, the greater the number of cores that are involved, the greater the volume of cancer that is present, the greater the disease burden, and we factor all of that in when we're making treatment-related decisions. Now, beyond having more cores involved, we also get a percentage of a particular core that is replaced by cancer. And so a core, we talk about these core samples, they are very fine strips of tissue. They're anywhere between 10 to 20 mil long, and in the report, it will tell us specifically a percentage. So we might get 30% of the core is replaced with cancer, and then we get a Gleason score. Yeah, or it might be larger volume disease, and it might say 80 or 90% of that core is replaced with cancer. 